Today we're going to look at the human immune system. Just a quick overview of how it actually works and how we can organize it. What I like to do is to liken the human immune system to an island. We're drawing an island. Now if you imagine this island is under attack, whereabouts would you put your defense system? Where would you put your soldiers? We'd probably start off and say, well hold on, we don't know which side will be attacked. Let's put our soldiers all the way around the island. Spread them out all the way around. We don't know where our defense is needed. Now if you were attacking this island, the harbor would be the place that would be most useful. So we're probably going to need to defend our system by having more defenses actually at the harbor because it's more likely to be attacked there. It's more useful, a better entry point to the island. And finally, well if the whole of the enemy forces attack on one side, we're in trouble. We don't have that full strength there. So we need some sort of response unit. We'll put it in the middle. It'll take some time to get to wherever the attack is. That's how I would defend an island. And strangely enough, this is how your body is also defended from disease. You have three lines of defense. The first line is to keep out invaders. So the first line, this is very much your skin, but also chemicals you have in your saliva, in your tears, in your nostrils, and all other openings to your body. The second line of defense is a rapid response to any invader. And finally, your third line. Some of you might have wondered, why do I only get chicken pox once? Why did I only get measles once? The reason is your body has specific assassin that attack a specific disease. Now these specific assassins don't know what diseases are coming. So your body can't be prepared. When you catch a disease, you take seven to 10 days on average to create an assassin for a disease. How long did you have chicken fox for? Most people, seven to 10 days. These specific assassins stay in your body for many years, allowing you to remain immune to these diseases. These are called antibodies. Anytime you are asked to write about the human defense system, break up everything you know into the three lines of defense, and then you've organized it well. In fact, I did the colors slightly wrong on this diagram. If I want the first line to be blue, keeping things out, all of these should be blue because you have more first line around your body openings. This is still generic, keep it out. Your second line would be in red, rapid response. It takes short time to get somewhere. And your third line is your specific assassin that you actually build once you're invaded and know what to attack. Perhaps this is John Rambo, who knows. If we do that, we can then color code it. But it takes time to build your antibodies.